This award is sponsored by Mercier Press and it is in memory of John B. Keane, one of Ireland's most prolific and respected literary figures and one of the founding members of Listowel Writers Week. On behalf of Listowel Writers Week, I am delighted we, that we have the honour to present Danny Hannan with the award this year. bit about Danny and look we could have three hours this evening to talk about Danny but I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, after returning home from London in 1964 Danny had the magnificent idea of establishing the Lartigue Theatre in 1972. Now would you believe this was Kerry's first ever theatre? Hard to imagine. For the next decade it was home, its home rather, was a stable out the window I think to your left adjoining the stool's Norman Castle in the Square. After a hiatus in the 80s, Danny revived the Lartigue Theatre in 1991 to coincide with the opening of St John's Theatre in the Square. Over his lifetime, he has championed the arts and theatre. He has encouraged local playwrights and produced their plays. He has fostered their talent. As a director and producer, his enthusiasm is contagious and you always get a sense of his passion for theatre. But not only that, but for many years, Danny also had a bookshop in the town and during Writers Week, he had a book fair in the boys' school and for many children and adult alike, it was an Aladdin's cave during the week. Danny Hannon, he is one of our own and he is one of our heroes. And the Stowell Writers Week are just delighted to honor the champion that is Danny Hannon. Tell you a little bit about the award. Uh, it has been designed, hand cut, and formed by and crafted rather by award-winning Eileen Moylan, a Listowel native, and I can vouch for that, who creates jewellery and presentation pieces from her workshop in Macroom County Cork. This so a solid silver piece symbolises Danny's work with the Lartigue Theatre Company. There are two buildings represented in silver: the first home of the Lartigue Theatre, the stone arch of the disused stables at the back of the castle that Danny restored to create the rehearsal space and the Lartigue Theatre. The second building is, of course, St John's, which has hosted so many Lartigue productions since its opening. Danny's production, A Doctor in Spite of Himself, was the first ever play in St John's. And it's engraved around two silver pieces, around, that's just one of the names of the plays that Danny and the Lartigue Theatre Company have produced over the years. Every element of the piece has been hand cut carved and engraved to honour a Listowel great who has given so much to drama and to the town of Listowel. So I'd now like to call on Mary Feehan from Mercier Press and Colm Tobin, our president, to present the award to Danny. My God, this is some do, isn't it? <laughs> Fancy that, Conor to be Liam O'Connor. What an organisation. What two people to follow. Anyway, Reverend Cannons, ordinary cannons, extraordinary cannons, <laughs> retired cannons, and present active cannons. A green ushla to honour ours, Aram, and Kurnsha at Lapa. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen, it is extraordinary 
to find myself the next door neighbour to the arms hotel. All I can say is thank you, Catherine, for this wonderful presentation. Thank you, Writers Week. Thank you for everything you have done to give a boost to the latter uh, decade of my life. It is, uh, I'm overwhelmed and speechless, which is something I'm not very, and my wife Eileen is actually thrilled. She said, look, I had to make you shut up, she said. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. It certainly was really worth travelling, and I've met many friends, people I work with in theatre and amateur drama and designers, producers, actors, all beautiful people. So it is, at 86 years of age, it is incredible to be receiving such a wondrous recognition for what I do not know. <laughs> but I will take it and cherish it and lock it up and boast about it, <laughs> especially to my beautiful children. <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm, I'm very thrilled that the award itself is in association with Mercier Press, whom I've had a long association with through uh, my friendship, we had friendship with John B, and I often travel with him to Cork, to Mercier Press to see Captain Fian. And uh, one of the uh, projects they were discussing one afternoon in the office was Captain Fian had an idea for a, a collection of short stories for John B. And about farming and love and sex. <laughs> and he said, to Captain Fian's uh, suggested title for the book was Sex Instruction for North Kerry Farmers. <laughs> But John B said, the farmers in our county don't need any instruction. <laughs> he said, maybe they've even written this book. <laughs> I've had, uh, it's been my great good fortune to have been here in this room for the very opening, beginning the genesis of Writers Week with and Emma Morocco was here tonight, son of our great charismatic and beautiful Louis O'Morocco, who transcended all the local rivalries to bring together and formulate this wonderful group which has continued for so many years so successfully. Wondrous a wondrous, wondrous achievement. Congratulations to all the committee and all the talented people who work for it. <coughs> I uh, caught him to a bean or something, wasn't there? Huh? And, and, and Joseph O'Connor and that Liam O'Connor is still boggled. <laughs> but uh, I was, uh, I had my notes written out, now they all gone crazy. <laughs> so I, uh, I would, I would like especially to, to thank uh, all my own family, especially my wife Eileen, who is uh, celebrated 89 years of age this week. <laughs> and looking as young and beautiful as she was when we first met. <laughs> She answers now and again to the name of Sister Dementia. <laughs> but if you ask her to show you her fingernails, she's going to especially done for my occasion here this evening. Uh, it's uh, 
I had other things to say, but at 86, I'm afraid I have also contacted that very strange lady, Dementia. And uh, it is, I'm just so thrilled to have been asked by Writers Week at a time in my life when I'm getting in the, the final boost rocket. <laughs> and when I'm looking forward to years of salt pudding and low fat curry dairy milk. <laughs> <laughs> And it is such, it's such a joy to see so many people who have contributed to my way of life and my happiness and my well-being over so many years, especially in theatre and production and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm just so thrilled that I can be able to make it here this evening and to receive this wonderful, wonderful award. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Writers Week. Especially thanks to my hairdresser. Thank you very much.